Hello, Casey from Interweb Kaiju here on the Son of Kong video. I showed off this and put in the description that you could win this or the shorter version from Cody at HS Collectible on his Road to a Thousand Subscribers contest. There's also other prizes. Um, uh, my Bloody Valentine Steelbook. There's, a, there's another uh, Spring Factory Steelbook as well. I'm just blanking on it right now. And a uh, Robocop um, hack from Arrow video. But um, I should just make a video of it myself, you know? I don't know why I would promote his contest and not do it myself. Cody is very cool, not just because he makes these cool things and is having a cool contest, but because, I don't know, I, I love the Coast to Coast stream that he does with uh, Ben from Cadaver Club and David from David's Horror, Phil from Phil's Creepy Videos, Mark, Mark of Horror, um, sometimes uh, John from Project Ellsworth. Anyways, he has questions. Um, name a movie that needs a remake. I originally had something else here, but uh, I have to change my answer because uh, Basket Case. We, we need Belial. The kids need to know Belial, and I think that is only going to happen if they remake this film. I really just only need to remake the first one. Name a movie that needs a reboot. Uh, Gamera. I, we, we need more more Gamera. You know. Name a movie that needs a redo. Redo. Um. <laughs> you know what needs a redo? Uh, that last Bill and Ted movie. There is no... Well, there wasn't really a need for it to begin with, but they went for it, and it didn't need to be that lackluster. Like, it's got a great cast, and they didn't go anywhere with it. Name a movie or scene which hits you emotionally each time you watch it. Um... I'm gonna say uh, the meltdown scene from Godzilla vs. Destroya. That's uh, <laughs> it's it's silly because it's a big monster, but uh, just the visuals and and the soundtrack going with it, it's it's pretty pretty good as far as um, getting an emotional drive out of someone. The next question is, what movie soundtrack score hits you emotionally when you hear it? I guess that, but also like the, um, the very <laughs> dramatic uh, cues from uh, Requiem for a Dream that plays in the end sequence. Um, name the best and worst video game movie adaptation. I should have went and got them. Um, the best one is still Mortal Kombat, the original. I fucking love that movie. Plus the big Goro. Oh, so good. So good. And I think they nailed it with all the uh, the actors. You know, Robin Chow, Christopher Lambert. Um, even, like, the Kano was phenomenal in that. You know, after that movie, the game shifted Kano to be, like, Australian. <laughs> That's how good that, that character was in that movie. And of course, it's a tournament movie, so the main thing that matters is the fights, and I think they delivered. Plus, just wonderful song. Jeez, I, I've spent times where I just re-listen to that song over and over again. <laughs> you know, I'm, it was kind of embarrassing, but I've done it. It's great. Um, for the worst video game adaptation, probably not remembering it. Um, maybe House of the Dead? That's the thing, like, I probably watched some terrible video game adaptations and then forgot they existed. You know, I didn't mind either Doom movies. 
Um, most of the Resident Evil movies are just kind of lackluster. I still haven't watched the new one. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go with House of the Dead for now. Um, well, actually, the second Tekken movie. I like the first Tekken movie. The second Tekken movie is a huge waste of time. Um, like, it's shot better than the House of the Dead, but, like, I felt so disappointed after watching the second Tekken movie. Probably because the first one was good. Well, I don't know about good. I enjoyed it. You know, that's... I think that's <laughs> the more, most important thing is enjoyability, you know. Critically, I, I don't know if it'd be good. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, <laughs> anyone else wants to enter Cody's contest, it's video entries only, and it is open until midnight, May 31st. Again, Cody from h and Collectibles. Check him out. Thank you for watching. And, uh... Hopefully Cody gets to a thousand subs. Right now he's sitting at 984, so if you like horror and or sci-fi and or their collectibles, at least give his uh, channel a try, you know? Thanks for watching. I just realized every time I show this, I never show it with a record in it, even though this is the record size holder. Again, the DVD Blu-ray holder is a little bit shorter, so that way it fits nicer and the base is a little wider. So here are three different sizes just in, in there. Just to, just to see. Again, this pops off, as does the now playing, if you want to switch it out. And his contest is, I believe, you get to personalize it. You know, you get to get with the, decide what this says, decide what this says, and you can decide what font you want it to be and what color you want the stand to be. Thanks for watching.